This is the Tesla one month overview reading for September 2022. It's currently August 26, 2022, 2 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, the overall theme and behavior for the month of September is going to be sideways rotation along a key support level on a multi uh, on a multi day chart, so like on, a, on at least a one month chart. Um, we move sideways along that rotation and then there's a move to the nearest resistance, up to the nearest resistance. We tap it and then we come back down back to uh, the support that we were rotating along and continue moving along that as support. However, it is crossed with a notable drop. There's something global that causes a big drop um, in the market. Behavior around the, the month's high, we have a rally along a diagonal trend line breaking through horizontal resistance, meeting a secondary resistance, and then pulling back to somewhere between those two price levels. And the behavior around the low for the month, um, we have uh, we meet a resistance level, a key resistance level on a, at least a one month chart. Um, we break down from that resistance level with consecutively uh, lower spikes up on the way down. Those spikes meet moving averages that are in bearish formation um, as their resistance. On the first, we have a critical technical price level that's highlighted. Um, I'll notate that on, on September 1st, I'll notate what that price is. It's important to know. Um, there's quite a bit of price movement early in the day on the first, and there's a swing trade opportunity involving a failed attempt to break through key resistance followed by a breakdown through key support. There's one local high, so on a one day chart, we should see one prominent high stand out. Um, and at that high, there's a, that's actually a price level um, that high is the key price level, it looks like, um, uh, key resistance. On the second, we have one local high. Uh, so on a one-day chart for the second, we have one prominent high that stands out. Um, and it, it uh, forms when we have a fast sudden move higher that marks the end of a period of volatility. Uh, the overall behavior throughout uh, the second is going to be uh, a decline through multiple support levels on a multi-day chart. On the 6th, we have a prominent move to the upside on a one month chart, it'll stand out. I'm advised to buy protection on the 6th in the midst of that move to the upside. Um, looks like earlier in the day. Um, and we'll move, we'll move higher from overbought territory, excuse me, from oversold territory or to cover a uh, previous gap down. On the 7th, we have a breakout off of the low, um, the local low on the 7th, so one prominent low out of that, a rally forms on a one month chart. It'll stand, or excuse me, on a one day chart, it'll stand out. And there's a breakout there that possibly stand out on a one month chart. On the eighth, we have one local low. Uh, again, a rally forms uh, at the local low. So on a one day chart, a rally will form out of the low. Um, overall, though, for the eighth, there's a rally that increases with momentum uh, moving forward in, into the day. Um, and that'll be uh, notable on a month, one month chart. On the ninth, we have a uh, notable drop, uh, a, a prominent crest, excuse me, a prominent trough or low for the month here, uh, first, first possible low, but a prominent trough here, especially towards the end of the day. Um, on the 12th, a notable move to the upside that will stand out on a one month chart. Um, I'm advised to trade around the high there uh, at the end of the day on the 12th. On the 13th, we have two, two prominent highs that'll stand out on a one day chart of the 13th. There's also um, a correlation to that uh, horizontal, that uh, support level that we'll be running across. Um, sorry guys, some of the music just like, it's not, not feeling it. So, um, okay, so it's highlight, it's correlated to the theme card. So there's an important, uh, technical support level that's highlighted here at a month's low. This would be likely the month's low here. Um, matter of fact, it looks like it may be even on the fourth, it may be the 13th or the 14th that we have a month's low. It looks like we even have a month's higher crest here on, on the, at the end of the 12th, roughly. Possibly one here on the set. It looks like probably one here early on the 7th as well. All right, so those two local highs on the 13th, one will involve uh, a, an, a, an important resistance level on a, on a one day chart, it'll stand out the other local high and that resistance level will form in the midst of some volatility. Um, and the other local high for the 13th, 
Um, we have an attempt to establish support along along a support level. Uh, and then also we have a crossing with a uh, sharp drop. So this is like a fake out day, the devil card. There's a fake out in there. There's likely a very sharp drop here, um, possibly through uh, that support level, which is why we have a correlation there. Um, on the 14th, sideways rotation with a bullish trend that precedes a decline. On the 15th, uh, we have a period of volatility that has a sharp dip within it. It'll stand out, that dip will stand out on a, 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 a one month chart. On the 16th, it looks like we have uh, two trade opportunities, one to close a trade, one to open one, or possibly a, a, a day trade here um, in the midst of negative headwinds. Uh, the market, the street will be expecting the, the stock to move lower, but even in the face of seemingly overwhelming headwinds, it still moves higher. One of the trade opportunities on the 16th involves a failed attempt to break through key resistance on a one day chart, followed by a decline through key support on a one day chart. And then the other, uh, the other trade opportunity on the 16th, it involves a fast sudden move higher that marks the end of a period of decline. On the 19th, it looks like we have a, a, a crest here um, at the end of the day on the 19th, and there's uh, three pokes through the same price level followed by a sharp decline off of that third poke. That'll, that'll, that's on the scale of one month. Um, on the 20th, we have a swing trade opportunity, so likely to close a trade that was open on the 16th. Um, there's one local high on the, on the uh, 20th. Uh, it forms when we have a fast sudden move higher marking the end of a period of volatility. And there's also uh, that swing trade opportunity involves a sharp decline through multiple support levels on a one day chart. Um, there should be something highlighted regarding uh, an agreement between two leaders or a merger of some kind. On the 21st, we have another swing trade opportunity likely to open a position. Uh, there's one prominent high that'll stand out on a, a chart of the 21st, um, and it'll form when we have a fast sudden move to the upside, uh, marking the end of a period of volatility. There's gonna be multiple failed attempts to break through key resistance, and then there's a swing trade opportunity in the midst of a decline through multiple support levels on a one day chart. On the 22nd, we have sideways rotation that increases with uh, bullish momentum as we move forward throughout the day. Um, there's one prominent low that will stand out on a, on a chart for the 22nd. Uh, it's, it forms near the completion of a rally. Um, on the 23rd, we have a notable drop. We'll, we'll be revisiting, um, we'll be revisiting uh, past problems on the 23rd, and there's a, a notable drop through a key uh, price level on a one-month chart. Um, looks like we have a bit of a rally early in the morning, and then that turns into a decline. Uh, possibly from a, and there may be a crest at the, a little bit of a crest at the end of the day. Um, uh, open lower on the 26th. There's sideways fluctuations with a bearish trend that precedes a rally. Um, on the 26th, there's one prominent high that'll stand out on a, on a chart for the 26th, and it forms when we have a fast sudden move to the upside, marking the end of the period of volatility. Um, there's also a speech early on or over the weekend or early on the 22nd. Um, somebody's speaking. Uh, they're speaking lies. On the 27th, there's uh, a U-shaped dip with near uh, the intersection of two perpendicular diagonal trend lines. On the 28th, an important resistance level is highlighted. Um, I'll take note of that price level. And then on the 29th, we have a rally uh, that offers an opportunity to open up a short position or protect against long positions. Uh, there's one prominent low that'll stand out on, on a chart for the 29th, and that'll form when we have multi we break down through multiple support levels on a one-day chart. On the 30th, we have some erratic behavior back and forth through the same price levels. Um, and in the midst of that back and forth behavior, we will revisit a recent opportunity um, that uh, took place at a crest. Um, looks like we may have a crest at the end of the month as well. Uh, the sneak preview for the following month for Tesla for October, we have a decline that increases with momentum moving into the month. So look out for that, my friends. That's Tesla for September 2022. Guys, it, you can support the channel in many ways. One way is to, to sign up for a Webull account with the referral link below in our description. You could also send uh, some of your profits to Capra Vet, uh, you know, as a pay it forward and a pay it backwards. And then uh, you can also uh, check out our Tarot for Traders, share the video, do what you got to do. But uh, whatever you got to do, show, show some love. We're sending all this stuff out for free. It takes a lot of work. We do not pull this stuff out of the hat. It takes hours and hours. Per, per reading. Um, again, that's Tesla, guys, uh, and I'll see you on the next one.